guys, what I just did now is called biosecurity. Before you get into any farm, most especially a poultry farm, and most especially my farm, you have to go through this. This water is actually not ordinary water, it's actually disinfected water. You actually dip your legs and you wash your hands. Why? Because we can carry gems, unknown gems, unknown viruses into the farm. So once you do this, you are actually 70% safe to come into my farm. Including me, all my workers, everybody was passed through this. It's so important. Okay. So guys, welcome to my farm. Welcome to Landry Farms. And welcome to Amina and her kids. This is their abode. Okay guys, let me just take you on a tour of the farm. My farm is divided into two sections. You know, the older beds are down. As you can see, this is the egg here. Yeah, both the egg. Then the younger beds are up. Okay, so this is the time I feed my children. We feed them by 6 early, by 6 a.m. in the morning and by 12 at noon. You can see they are all expectant. The reason for their noise is they actually recognize when it's time for feeding. So when we feed them, we measure the quantity, you know, and we spread the food along as we go. So you can see that, um, sorry for the noise, guys, but this is feeding time for my kids. The birds, they eat, depending on, on their age, my, my birds are about 43 weeks. They eat two times a day. So this is a battery cage system. I practice, you know, a mechanized system of farming whereby the birds are in their cages. They have what I call automatic drinkers. You can see. Them, you know and also when they when they lay eggs they, it also has a compartment where you actually pick the eggs so you can see when they lay eggs it rolls down from under the cages and comes here so in that way it is easy for my workers to actually pick eggs it's easy for my, for my workers to actually feed the birds and it's easy for them to get water all day long downstairs we have three sections this is the first section and this is the middle section. This is the second row and we have the third row. Upstairs, we also have three sections, which I'm going to show you guys now. Um. Okay guys, welcome to the opposite part of my farm. Um, over there, we have the security cameras, which is actually very important, you know, to help theft to actually see what is going on in your farm. Of course, I'm not here every day for 24 hours. So whatever, so wherever I am, I use my phone to actually check the cameras to know what's going on. This is the upper part of my farm. And the reason you are not seeing any eggs here is because they're actually young birds. You know, we just moved them here and they're about 16 weeks. So at 16 weeks, they don't lay. They lay between uh, 19 to 20 weeks. Some even lay as early as Okay, you might be wondering what supplies them water. You guys can't see any tank, but you see water coming out of their pipes, of their nipples. Over there is what supplies them water. That tank supplies this room, and the other tank there supplies them water. It never gets empty because it's actually automatic, except we want to give them drugs. So we stop the flow from the head tank and we give them vitamins. Um, you guys know that chicken, chicken manure is very, very, very crucial to many farmers. They use it for their farms, they use it to feed. Yes, some, some people come here to take um, chicken manure for their fish feed, for their farms, cucumber, tomatoes, anything you're growing. Plants, you spray it on your farm and it helps you, you know, it helps your plants thrive, feeds your fishes. Ah, my farm does not smell because I actually evacuate their pool once every two days. If your farm is situated, where people are staying is actually advisable for you to actually evacuate frequently. Okay guys, um, this is where we keep the sick beds. This is where we keep the sick beds, injured beds, or I call it my sick bay, my special hospital. As you can see, they are actually thriving. We keep them here. We actually isolate them to treat them better. When a bird is sick, the first thing you do is to remove it from the floor and you keep it in a place where it gets uh, you know, treatment. 
Um, I'm going to show you one or two examples of um, the things I see in this farm. <laughs> so the things, so I'm opening, um, you know, I'm going to collect Jeanette now. Oh, so guys, sorry, this is Jeanette and you can see her legs, you know, it's stretched to the back. Um, this is one of the few disadvantages of um, battery cage system. So, I noticed that her legs were stretched to the back and they, um, and they were not strong enough to hold her up. So I removed her from her siblings and I kept, we kept her here for better treatment. She'll be fine, you know, when she walks around and she, she's taking her water, her legs will be better. Below, um, I think I have one or two cases of um, black pox. So, uh, we don't put them together. I'm going to show you an example of black pox. Oh. oh, sorry. Okay, guys. Okay, it's clearing. I noticed that um, on the face, I was noticing black, um, black patches, you know, all over the beak, the comb. And a bed that is infected with black pox will never lay. And you can see under, you can see, she also had a bit of prolapse. So I had to remove her from her flock um, to give her special treatment. She is getting better. You can see, you can see the back of her. See the wound. So this is one of the things also. You have to be on your toes. You have to check out for sick beds. And you isolate them and treat them. So guys, this is my sick bay. So guys, if you want to set up a farm, if you want to actually, if you want me to actually consult for you, build your farm, train you, train your workers and the club, you know, hit me up on the number below. When I was starting, no one helped me, you know. I had to travel around to look for where to get my cages, where to buy the best beds, you know, you know, what kind of feed should I feed them. I actually trained. I made some mistakes, a whole lot of mistakes. Lost some money along the way. Either I get the wrong cages or I get the wrong, you know. I now said to myself, I won't let another farmer, another upcoming farmer, somebody that really wants to start to go through this. I will be there with you every step of the way, giving you advice. If you want the cages, if you want the free range, the kind of beds you buy, I will actually, you know, um, I'll actually advise you on how to start according to your resources, the kind of workers to employ, your human resource management, how to actually monitor your workers, even if you don't have cameras on the farm, how to actually structure your business, strategize it, put it in sectors. So in that way, you don't do all and you break down. So this is a many more is what I'm actually going to offer you on my training. You don't have to be in Port Harcourt. I have audio books with my voice. I have practical pictures. Call the number on your screen, screen and you get it. Thank you guys.